Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video today. Today we're going to be doing like the fifth installment of the free kick tactic. This tactic still works in FIFA nowadays. Uh, it's something that is very effective to use in FIFA, but it also is very easy to defend against if you just bring somebody out of your wall and block that general running area. So this is one of the clips that I got from the stream uh, today from the free kick. It's very hard to get free kicks, uh, free kicks against the AIs. Uh, so when I did get it and then ended up scoring it, obviously I wanted to show you guys because this is that that free kick tactic that we've been doing since years, boys. So we're going to notice, right, right off the bat, we have the initial free kick taker, and then we have the second and the third man on the free kick. So to put the second and the third man on the free kick, you're going to want to press R1, right? And you can see it in the command at the top right right here. You want to press R1 and L2, right? So you can have the second and the first one. So you can decide with what, however you want to do this at this point, right? So if you want the initial person to take the, uh, or to make the run, if you want De Bruyne to make the run in this space right over here, what you would do is you would just do a fake shot. BA, just a nice little fake shot, right? Once you do the fake shot, your De Bruyne will make that run. As your De Bruyne makes the run, so you're doing the fake shot and your De Bruyne makes the run, when he's halfway to approaching the ball, you want to aim your thumbstick this direction and you want to be spamming the A pass, right? So that it goes towards him. So in this situation right here, I believe I do end up using De Bruyne. So the first one, he makes the run. I try to get a player that's actually better in finishing. So I put Sonny on the left just in case I want to decide to go to the left side or to the right side, right? Um, so with Sané, the runner who is the second man is De Bruyne in this situation. So with De Bruyne... Uh, he's the R1, right? So in this situation right here, if I'm going to run with De Bruyne, I'm going to be holding R1 and then we doing the fake shot, right? So if I do the R1 and fake shot, you'll see right here that De Bruyne from that will make that run, right? So in this situation right here, once he makes this run, once he makes this run or once he starts, kind of like right here, I'm aiming in this direction with Sané and I'm spamming the A pass. That's what I'm doing, right? So once I do that, I get the pass off to De Bruyne. With De Bruyne, I, it depends on the situation. Sometimes you want to hold the acceleration button and then go inside so that you can put a, so you can put a big touch into the box so you can put it into a better position. Or you just dribble normally with your thumbstick, just dribble to the left side. And then in FIFA 19, uh, I'm going to see how I ended up finishing here. I get the ball here with De Bruyne, and I just do a regular finesse shot. So I'm just aiming it that way or that way, and then I'm just finessing it. Just like that. Because De Bruyne also has a five-star weak foot, so he'll hit that with his weak foot as well uh, to score into the back of the net. So if you're in a situation like this, right, in the beginning. So like I said, if your initial free kick taker is De Bruyne, if you want him to make the run, you'll do this, right? And then he'll make the run to the right side. You'll aim the your thumbstick to the top right, and you'll be spamming the A pass as he's making the running animation, right? You don't want to do it too early. You want to do it at the right position, right? You just got to spam it to him, uh, and then once... Once the animation of Sané doing the pass comes off, you don't have to spam A, the X or A anymore, right? So he gets the ball, receives it, can shoot it. In this situation right here, I can decide to do this with Fernandinho, but you can tell right now that um, Fernandinho is not the ideal player to have in that position uh, to do a left-footed strike to cut inside, right? So if, if I'm using Fernandinho in this situ situation, I'm holding R1, and then I'm doing the fake shot, right? But obviously, I prefer to have Sané in that position because Sané is an actual left-footed player, so he would be better. That's why I switched uh, on this free kick to Sané because it would be Sané De Bruyne. Set this up before the game starts. Put Sané as your initial free kick taker so that normally uh, the strong right-footed player will be the one that will be making the run, right? So that's why in this situation right here, uh, I switch to Sané so that I can have two strong tick, uh, kickers, right? So if Sané runs in with his left foot, I can shoot it across goal with his left. If De Bruyne runs in, I can shoot it with his right. Normally, nobody's defending this general area right here, so that's why it's the best to use it. But like I said, if you want to block this run, take somebody out of the wall and just cover that general area and they won't be able to score, right? Uh, if, if they don't end up passing the ball and they take the free kick or they pass it off to the sides, you can switch really easily with the, uh, with the L1 nowadays. So you can defend against this quite nicely now. Uh, now, the only other thing I don't know if it's effective in this game, if it's going to be really good, is the layoff pass, which is basically like holding L2 and then passing and doing a long shot. In last year's game, there was no way of defending against it if someone got the power right. Um, but this year, we'll see how the, uh, the wall puts the pressure. So obviously, the best way to set up is 
you press X or A on the wall so that your player is ready to make a run towards the free kick taker. And then you also have somebody outside of the wall that you're controlling to block the runs or the layoff pass as well. So that's the ideal thing to do in this situation. But like I said, over here in this situation, with Sané, you could have done the R1 fake shot, and then with De Bruyne, you'd be aiming it to the left side and spamming A, and then Sané would go in, maybe control uh, with the camera angles, it would have been like this, aim upwards, shoot, or finesse shot, or driven shots, right? So uh, that's the best way to do the free kick tactic, guys. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video today. If you guys did, please show a thumbs up on it. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.